um, this was so many layers and I thoroughly love this movie. I loved how, you know, the glass house was a whole, but it was a metaphor. Um, I loved how you building to perfection, but it never really got there. And, you know, your characters are just both so rich. So I was wondering what does I did the building of the glass house, what would you say it represents for your characters? Uh, I, you mean the building of the house? Yes, the building of the house. Um, I think it represents uh, dreams uh, for um, Liesl. Um, I don't know about Victor, but for Liesl, it's uh, dreaming of this perfect uh, life, I think. Yeah, but but I also think, that, I mean, I'm, I, I the thing is that they decide to go and see this architect and, and, and tell him to build exactly the house they are dreaming of. So the house really becomes a representation of themselves. I mean, they could have built any house. It could have been a small cottage or it could have been a very dark or it could have been anything, but it's, it's really an expression, especially of Liesl's wishes and therefore it becomes sort of an extension of what, what their dreams are. And, and it becomes an extension of their personality, I think. Mm -hmm. In a way, it's really, it's as an actor, it's quite helpful that all of a sudden there's a manifestation of something right there that is you. Because it tells a story of, I mean, it tells a, a, another story. It, it tells something else about you. Right. So do you both feel that the house, the fact that it is glass, it's transparent, is in a way Liesl and Victor's way of trying to reach each other so you could see what you're what you really are, you're what you're what you're both hiding. You have both kind of the affairs that's going on. And those affairs kind of represent who you truly are in that character. So do you feel that that is also the connection to that? Hmm, I haven't thought about it that way, but uh... <laughs> When you're saying it like that, so maybe, yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, maybe it's, it's a try to uh, connect with each other. Um, yeah, maybe. But, but it's also quite interesting that these two people that have all these secrets and have all these weird relationships that should stay hidden, I mean, that they choose to build a house that you can see straight through. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, that's sort of, I mean, what they should have done is they should have built a really dark little place with very yeah. separate rooms you couldn't look into so you, they could keep their secret lives with no uh, one watching. There's one room you can hide in, uh, in, yeah. in your photo uh, little room. Yeah, that's right. In the basement. In the basement. In the basement. I love that. Now, can you talk a little bit about the location? There's some really beautiful locations that we get to see in the movie. What was it like filming there and how long was you kind of down in that location? Oh, I, I, well, we, we, sh we were in Prague and Brno and um, yeah, it was a fantastic lo location. And I was there for maybe five weeks, I think, in, in Brno. Um, I'm, I guess you went back and forth, Klaus, between all your shootings. <laughs> yeah, but, but, um, yeah but, uh, but you were there for much longer than I was because you were there in the spring as well. I was only, only yeah. there for a, a period in the summer. So, but I was in Prague and Brno, but I, I have to say, this is, this is one of the things where the reason why you say yes to, um, one of the, I mean, there's a lot of reasons, but one of the reasons you say yes to the job is also that the, fans, that the locations are so fantastic and you get to shoot in a fucking Mies van der Rohe villa, which is something nobody ever, ever, ever does. Right. So I was wondering also if you guys could describe your character's perfect day and would that be with each other? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't be with each other, <laughs> I guess. I think it probably wouldn't. But I think, I mean, in the beginning, aren't they quite in love in the beginning? Yes, huh? in the they, beginning, are. they are. It is sort of, but then, you know, then different people sort of start to sneak in and and yeah and then, like a war and and yeah. ju judgmental mentality and everything is just sneaking up at them um 
but I like, but that that's that's actually the beauty of it. It's it's not like it's just you know it's all coming apart because they start hating each other or something. It's just different. All of a sudden, Liesl, Hannah's character is sort of. I'm, I when I watch the movie, it's like she fucking never knew that she could have that af kind of affection for another woman. No, it's totally a surprise to her, and I think that's the beauty of it. That whoa fuck this is happening mm. i'm just i'm just going with it and 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 i think you know so you go, and then you start going with something like that and then it ends up tearing the whole family apart in a way his affair and her affair and everything but it's not like it's not a bad intention and it's not like they didn't love each other from the beginning no. i think they no. really didn't like each other so in that sense, do neither one of you kind of view your characters as being the villain to each other? No, 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 never, no. absolutely not. No, no. no. Oh, and also, I was wondering. I know that you represent a very strong modern day woman, and what you're doing, you know, is kind of uh, not considered positive in that. In that, especially during the '30s, that's not mm -hmm. something that's you know pressed upon. So I was wondering. In a way, do you feel that the relationship that you end up having having is a sense of freedom? It's also love, but is it also a sense of freedom? Of course, a freedom to live the life that you want to live uh, and not uh, a life that you're expected from the society to live. Uh, I mean, no matter what it is, if, if you want to, if you're not happy with your, or happy, if you don't, um, if you're not happy with your gender or, or sexuality or whatever it is, uh, I mean, if you come out and just like, fuck it, this is how I want it. Of course, it's a freedom, a feeling, of right. course, it must be. Right. Now, for both of you, if you could sit down with your character as yourself, what advice would you give them with this journey? <laughs> Whoa, man. Ah. Shit. Uh, I would say to Liesl, you don't have to follow the rules. Um, yeah. I would say that to her. Very nice. I've got no idea what I would say to him. <laughs> Don't fuck the nanny. It's not nice. Towards <laughs> your wife. But yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I, I, I mean, that's that goes out in general. Don't fuck the nanny. <laughs> <laughs> Now, this also takes place in the backdrop of the Nazis kind of rising and you guys having to escape and attempt to go to America. And there's a really powerful scene, I feel, is when you guys are all going on the plane. And for you, Victor, it's you're, you're not able to, the nanny doesn't make it. No. No, no. and that was like heartbreaking because you're like, you're running back and I'm like, wait, but your wife and your kids, what's going on? And yeah. for you, your character yeah. for to, to watch that, you know, it's a sort of pain from like yeah. I viewed it as. And in, in that scene, do you feel that for your characters, it was kind of the turning point of emotion? Oh, of course it is, yeah. Because I mean, that it, be, it becomes quite obvious to everybody how, what he's feeling and 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 he can't he's he all all of a sudden he allows himself to show everybody that this is i mean this is the most important thing to him um and and obviously so that that is a turning point and 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 i suppose it's also i think they could actually perhaps have managed to have a quite decent life together if they'd taken the nanny with them because then it wouldn't have been him. I mean, but it becomes so blatantly obvious to Liesl, to Hannah's character, mm -hmm. that his that her husband is a fuck up, and <laughs> and it's that becomes a problem later on. I think. I mean, it's 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 hard. It's really really hard to come back from that. Because in a way, he would he would be prepared in that situation. I think he would be prepared to leave his entire family kids mm -hmm. and wife, mm -hmm. uh, if he could have stayed with with his lover. 
and obviously that must be devastating if 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 i found out that my my wife felt like that i would probably not be able to live mm. my life right and so for, for both of you i was wondering if you could sum up this movie using just three words what would you say oh, oh, oh. um mm. Oh, I always find these things so difficult. You spend so much, so so much time, uh, really oh, trying to words. make it as rich and 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 all that, and then to put it into three words. I think it's it's harrowing to try and do that. Please don't make me do that. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, I can try, but I, I think it's going to be maybe five words or something. Okay. Uh, I would say it's a suppressed love story that never dies. Mm. I like that very, very much. Good. That was very good. Thank you very so good. much for speaking with me. Thank, Thank you for, you for having us. No us. problem. Thank you for having us. Take care. Thanks, Dana. Thank Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.